Coates, 9100, coming at you. It's good old Monday, June 7th, 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bad news. Bad, bad news. I drove it, the van, I'm talking about the van. It's got a major gas leak uh, coming out from uh, the engine. I believe it's a fuel line. It smells and reeks of gasoline so much in the van, I can't even be in there right now. Anyways, I was coming up the interstate highway to try to make it up here to Walmart. I had to buy a few things. And about, I would say a little bit, about halfway up, I started smelling gas. My fuel gauge started going down. Luckily, I was able to make it here to this Walmart. <clears throat> and I shut it off. When I shut the engine off, pulled in, the gas just started pouring on the ground from the engine. Right from the engine. They just started pouring on the ground. And when I shut it off, it stopped leaking. But, um, as you can see, that, that's gasoline. The tow truck's on the way. Um, and, uh, I don't know, man. I just don't get it. It's got to be a fuel line. I don't know. Do I pull the doghouse off? But it all came pouring out from under the engine. I mean, lots of gasoline. I must have, I filled the truck up last night full, no problem. I started coming up here to where I am and I started smelling gas and my gauge started going way over. And when I shut it off, I thought this thing was gonna burn up. Man, I was scared to death. The smoke, when I popped the hood on this thing, the smoke, the steam was just, just came right up from under the engine. I was sure enough, I was out, I had a hand on a fire extinguisher. I swear to God, I was going to burn up right here in the parking lot. Scared to death. I don't know, something let go. It's got to be a fuel line. So I got to get it towed. Uh, so the tow truck's on the way. Uh, the guy's supposed to be here. Now I'm going to have to get something to clean the engine down. I'm, I mean, there's got to be something I can buy to, I got to have that engine all cleaned down. Unbelievable. It's always something. Luckily, I made it off the interstate highway. And I made it here to Walmart. Just barely. Just barely made it here. And, uh, I don't know. It's been running fine. It's been running fine till tonight. Started smelling gas. My gauge started going way over. Over. And when I got here, it just poured out from the engine. As you can see here on the ground. And when I shut it off, it stopped leaking, but it just reeks of gasoline inside. Uh, it must be gasoline all over the engine. I've got to get it all cleaned down, and uh, I'll have to buy some special cleaner, or have it taken somewhere or doing something with it. And uh, It's got to be a broken fuel line. I know there's some lines that go up to the engine. <sighs> so I don't know. The truck's on the way to pick it up, so truck will pick it up, load it on the truck, and uh, and that's going to be it, I guess. Nothing else I can do about it. Luckily, it didn't burn up, but I was scared. I smoked with steam. Steam was coming out from under the hood, and I swear to God, this thing was going to burn up right here. I swear to God, it's going to burn up right there. Just burn up. Gasoline is nothing to play with. It's highly flammable. And it's got to be one of the lines, when you pull that doghouse off inside, there's fuel lines going in. It's got to be one of the lines let go. It's either that or something there. Because it's leaking a major big leak from under where the engine is. And I can't do nothing about it tonight. I can't fix it myself because there's no parts stores here around here. And, you know, uh, I got the truck coming though. And I'll get, I'll get it clean, the engine cleaned down. Get this thing... Uh, I don't know. I'm just glad I made it off the interstate. You know, if I was stuck on the interstate with this thing, it'd have been a been a big deal. I mean, I got the truck coming, but still, it's just man, it scared me. It's like man, this thing's gonna burn up. I swear to God, the steam was coming up. I swear to God, this thing I was gonna burn. I had my hand and I had the fire extinguisher. I was ready to, ready to spray it down and it started cooling off, and it and it didn't burn up. So it's unbelievable. Every day it's something. Every day, but I gotta expect it. I mean, 
all the places I've been with it. So, you know, something like this is going to happen someday. So, at least I didn't get killed or it didn't blow up with me in it. On the inter when the freaking thing threw a spark and that gasoline at night, it would have blew up with me in it. I don't know what made it leak. It has never, it's never leaked. I never had a vehicle leak like that. Fucking shut the thing off, gasoline just pouring out from under the engine. It's got to be a line let go. I can't, I, those lines are stainless steel lines. I can't see how they let go. Oh, all right, talk to you guys later.